Hey guys, Emily here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at everything that I packed in my clinic bag during my second and third year in optometry school. If you find this content useful, please comment, like, and subscribe for more to come. Enjoy! It's easier to pack everything into a medium-sized suitcase rather than haul a bunch of individual items and bags. The first thing I'll pack is my trial lens kit. It is the compact version. I do have more lenses at home. My advice is honestly just buy the compact. I never find myself needing more than just the minimum amount. I'll pack that in horizontally and fit it snug against the edge. So next I'll take the original styrofoam out of my Keeler case and I place it horizontally next to the travel lens case. This is for my BIO just to keep it safe and protected so nothing else is banging up against it or crushing it, although it has been a little bit beat up now over the course of a couple of years. The styrofoam inset also has little areas that I can just keep things like sclerodepressors, mirrors, filters, adapters, anything that I might need that's related to my BIO. Next I have my Welch Allen blood pressure cuffs, my Sphygmo mammometer, and my Lipman stethoscope, which I love this combination. I've used all cuff sizes. Um, I like having manual over an automated, I just think it's more accurate. So it just zips up nicely and I pack it just into the corner there. Next is my diagnostic kit. Everyone's going to have a different preference. I love my Hina. Um, you know, it already comes in the carrying case so that's easy enough to just zip right up and pack it in next to my blood pressure cuffs. The next item is what I get asked about by far the most on my Instagram. It's my Society6 carrying pouches. So large, medium, and small. And as you can see, the large one has things like my ret rack, my Leah symbols, my near card. The small one has things like fixation sticks and then my tono tip. Just fits really nicely. I ended up using the medium one for a pencil pouch. Um, and I'll link that below so you guys can take a look and get whatever eye print you're interested in. It's awesome. Next, I'll pack my prison bars and I just slide them right underneath my carrying case. Still missing my vertical one, so I'm really glad that's not a common deviation that I run into that much. When it comes to packing my lenses, this has to be confirmation that there is a method to my madness. It fits just like a puzzle piece. Next comes things that are book related. Ishihara, Will's Eye, patient notebooks, stereo if I had it, but they all just stack one on top of the other, and I put them right on top of my Heine Diagnostic into the corner. Tug tug, shove shove and perfect. At this point most of my things are packed but I will go ahead and use that upper compartment to put things in like my social vision chart, my extra well holder, my handheld JCC, those kinds of things. One of the resources that I found to be the most useful in clinic was the quick clinic reference guide that I created for the private practice club. It just gives you instant access to the information you need in clinic. Sweet 3 PCO students, it has Gerwitz histories, things that he wants to know, just some things to remember when it comes to diabetics and hypertension, some classification there. On the other side, you can see there's Eggers table and then Morgan's norms and then other binocular vision norms. So it's just a resource to help you succeed in clinic. This upper compartment is also where I have my foreign body removal kit. I am going to take a second just to talk about the forceps because I think the ones that come with the kit are just too sharp. I have truncated lashes instead of epilating them, so I do bring a pair of tweezermans, which I didn't show here, but I do have them now in my foreign body kit. The kit also includes a metal loop for foreign body removals, a metal spud for the same thing, and then a handheld scleral depressor, which I personally would probably use over the thimble design. I do have a pen retinal. I don't use it a lot. I like my 20 a lot. The pan rental just seemed kind of heavy, but I think now that I'm better at BIO, I might do a little bit more of a compare contrast and see if I want to keep it or sell it. All right, guys, this is the last thing I pack in my clinic bag, and it really breaks my heart because I don't know where they are, but these are flashcards that I made for a binocular vision vision therapy practical, and it basically tells me how to do each procedure. I really wish I knew where they were because I was looking for them when I was doing my pediatric externship, but nonetheless, a great resource to have in clinic. All right guys, so we are all packed up. This is pretty much everything I would bring with me to clinic for all of my third year. Fourth year things started to change because I went on an externship, so we'll go ahead and do a video of that later. Thank you guys, if you enjoyed watching, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.